I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At the White House press briefing on Monday, Fox News reporter Peter Ducey pressed Karine Jean-Pierre about the response to China's recent aggressive rhetoric. Chinese officials have used increasingly hostile language, including hinting at possible military action if Speaker Pelosi visits Taiwan during her current Asia trip. The White House has said that the U.S. still abides by the One China policy and that her visit doesn't represent a change in the U.S. stance towards Taiwan and refused to participate in, quote, saber rattling. And just one more. Uh, it's been three days now since a Chinese official publicly threatened to murder Speaker Pelosi. Where is the president coming out to respond to, at the very least, say, don't do that? Well, first, we've talked. Kirby was just here talking about how um, I have not seen those reports, so I'm uh, just going to say. They were going to maybe shoot down her plane or that they would, oh. it would be within their rights to okay. shoot down her plane. All right. Well, we have talked about that. We have said that there's no need for this type of saber rattling. It is unnecessary. Uh, the president has been very clear. There's been no change uh, in the uh, One China policy. Uh, we continue to support the Taiwan Relations Act. Uh, what we are seeing uh, from, uh, from uh, you know, what we're talking about right now, and to be clear, uh, the speaker has not confirmed, as you heard from my colleague just moments ago, uh, that she is going to Taiwan. It has not been confirmed. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, the history of this, of congressional members going to Taiwan, is not uncommon. It is something that has happened in the past. Uh, and, uh, and so, again, nothing has changed, and uh, the president has made that very, very clear. Okay, Steve. Just two more bits of pushback on the Inflation Reduction Act. Farmers, oh, sure. Farmers running ads in the